Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at 14 star Goku and Frieza post buff. Today they finally received their buff that uh, the developers think that they needed. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how much better they feel with the buff activated. So just to quickly go over everything that they actually changed, I believe they have a nice breakdown in the news tab that we can just quickly review here. I think it was update announcement. Yeah, so here's the different adjustments that they made to the character. I'm not going to go over absolutely everything that they did. I'm just going to go over the, you know, few main things that I think are going to really make a difference with this character. So number one, Goku's green card is going to draw you a card and give you a longer duration of card draw speed. I think that's really necessary for this character. Goku's green card definitely did not feel good enough. Um, switching to Frieza gives you 70% vanish gauge back. That is really, really big. It's kind of reminiscent of Vegeta and Trunks. Going from Vegeta to Trunks really does feel powerful, and that's going to be the same thing that does uh, that this character does now. Um, now, the biggest thing that came out of this is this, the Rising Rush thing. So when enemy activates Rising Rush while this character is in the, on the standby, they shorten their own sub count by 7, and they cancel enemy buff effects. So they literally pretty much at all times just nullify Rush. Like, if the enemy rushes you, they pretty much can't rush until this character's gauge is depleted, which is around, I believe it's like 85-ish counts. I believe that's how long it is. So when the timer hits around like 95 counts left in the match, that's when the gauge goes away. And at that point, yeah, you can get rushed. But basically up until that point, there's really not much the enemy can do in terms of rushing you. Um, this character will just come in and then nullify it. And that's, that's, pr that's pretty much it, right? Um, Something else that they gave them that I think is worth mentioning here is... Where is it? It might be under both. There is... Yeah, so it, actually there, there's, there's a few things. So it just has to do with this character's bulkiness. When the enemy uses a special move, ultimate, or awakened artist card while this character's in the battlefield, they actually gain type neutral and they shorten ally sub count by five. <laughs> so they're ridiculously hard to kill. And then also... Um, where is it? I think... Yeah, here we go. When this character enters the battlefield, so basically on cover change, they reduce damage received by 10% permanently, and they reduce enemy key by 25 and destroy a card. So they're getting a lot of extra tools. It's not like this character, you know, got like a little dinky nothing buff. Like this is a massive buff for this unit. Going to be running them on the universe reps team here next to Jiren and 17. Uh, we are going to be Zenkai buffing them with UI Goku, but it's only going to be one Zenkai buff. Uh, HP with Bergamo, and then I threw the Red UI Goku on the bench there as well, just so that we could get some extra strike attack damage, because I think he gives 3% th strike attack to Universe Survival Saga, a 3% strike strike arts damage inflicted by Universe Survival Saga, yeah. So we'll go with this. Um, equipment is pretty standard, just a bunch of strike equipment, and then I actually did end up giving them this over here as well, uh, just because I think giving them a bit of extra bulk will uh, go a long way for this character as well, on top of the you know disruption they, that they acquired via their buff. So let's go ahead and jump in with this team. Goku and Frieza post-buff. The first time we've ever seen a character get a buff like two weeks after they came out. So let's see how they do here. All right, the enemy is also testing out the Goku and Frieza now. All right. Vegeta, I guess? Yeah. That's fine. This hand is not fine. <laughs> Let's go to Jiren. Um, one Dragon Ball and it's on the strike. That's great. All right, there's UI. Fine, get my vanish back. Um, I'd like to look at that. Thank you, Gogeta. I vanish back. Okay, let's do this. Grab our rush. Even though we can't really use it here. I'm going to do that. He has to switch. He's going to die. He's dead. Is he dead? No, we're not critting. He's still dead. <laughs> That's so dumb. Damn, I thought he'd go right away there. I mean, he can't. He actually just can never rush, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> that is crazy. That killed Gogeta. That's, that's actually really absurd. 
We should be type neutral here. Are we? Maybe not. Alright, we just do this. I mean, again, he can't rush, so... Neither can I, I guess, to be fair, right? Alright. Yeah, he was just gonna die. I was gonna blue card him and he was dead. It looked pretty good there. UI Goku and Whis. This can definitely be a pretty annoying combo. We'll see. Alright. Interesting. What's this? I'm gonna throw this, even though we can't connect it. He has no vanish. So we'll see what he does here. Oh, wait, what? Full screen, huh? Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd recommend that. Full screen blue card where you have no vanish. Not what I would call a fantastic play, but no, it's fine. Alright, what's the plan now? Full screen green card when it's a short range attack. Seems pretty good. Damn. Yeah, I forgot. Well, I didn't forget we uh, reduced key. I just didn't remember how much it was. That's a green, okay. Let's just do this. Increase his cost. Go ahead and rush. Rush? He's dead. And then we can get the LF. Sounds good. I mean, we could have just no, fly this, whatever. Rose, Goju to Blue, and Beast Gohan. That is certainly an interesting team. Goes right away. Huh? That was horrible. Why was it so slow? Why did it feel like that was like unbelievably slow? That's fine. That's not a big deal. He's not vanished, so yeah. Huh? You sure about that? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Okay. Hmm. It's locked. A green card? You drew a blue and then a green card. Like the worst string of draws possible at that point. I could have just switched into freeze and killed you. Okay. I'm just going to strike. I don't care. It's fine. Advantage back from this. <laughs> no way, dude. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, dude. I mean, it's a Rosé. It's a Rosé player. What am I supposed to expect?
Go ahead and rush. See what happens. Yeah, he has his vanish back, unfortunately. Actually, yeah, that, and he also has an ult now. Well, we have to do this, unfortunately. All right, I kind of want to. I kind of want to bait out a rush, just so that we can get the rising rush nullification on this guy, and then I'll rush him, and then it'll be funny. Please don't rush. No, no, don't rush. No, don't do it. Oh no! <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. All right, now we rush you, and it's game. See, that was funny. Ah, damn it. That Rising Rush was going to hit for like 15 million or something. All right, I'm, I'm having fun with this team. This, this is this is a good fun, this is a good time. Um, is he just? If, he, if I use this blue card, if I had used the blue card, he was just dead, huh? I should have used it. Alright, he's just dead anyway. It's going to Frieza. Damn, I did it. Oh, I I forgot about the I forgot about the gauge ref, uh vanish gauge refresh there. That was my fault. And I pressed it too late too. Is he gonna main? No. <laughs> I guess that I guess that works. Okay, Kyoei hit and then Goku and Frieza, huh? Alright, she has her second advantage now. Uh oh. I'm gonna drop here. Damn, no card. I'm gonna tackle, he's gonna go to Kawaii. Let's press this, lock his strike cards, and I'm gonna tackle again. Go to hit, go to hit, go to hit, go to hit, go to hit. I didn't actually mean to click that rush button. Don't use that. He dead? No way. What? Oh my god, dude. Let's save that. I'm gonna tap here. Actually, do I tap? I'm gonna wait for him to jump and then press the blue, actually. I'm not gonna tap. That was time skip yet. I can't back up, I guess. Alright, freeze, let's go. Let's go for the strike, that's fine. I there's no way I died with time skip, so. Let's have you take this. Forgot about the sub count reduction. That was yeah, this this unit's cracked at this point. Nice nice strike there. He can't rush. Like he he actually can't rush. Okay. He actually can't. What is he supposed to do? He can't do anything. Tackle. <laughs> he just go. He's like, he's counting it down. He's like, I'm, I'm building up my my urge to not press the strike card, and then he succumbed to it, and then he pressed it. All right, goodbye. Uh, okay, sure. I'm gonna green card here. Okay, or we just don't have it anymore. Damn it! Don't rush! Whatever you do, don't rush. So my gauge is almost gonna run out, actually. Alright, that's fine. All right, my gauge is now expired. So he can rush now, I guess, but 
guess it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> what are we doing here? Alright, let's move on. Okay, we have pure hybrids. Nice. Interesting. Let's drop here. Okay, seems pretty good. It's a lot of damage. You sure you want to stay in? I'm tapping the screen. And you're dead. And we'll move on to the next match. No, he's I'm actually very surprised he didn't forfeit there instantly. You can't rush. Like, <laughs> this is an unwinnable match for this guy. Unfortunately. It's fine. He's trying to rush? I, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. I mean, I guess it's going to make the video longer. I guess that's the good part about this. I don't know. It's going to Goku. Okay. He's certainly trying. Gotta give him credit for that. Didn't just give up instantly, which most people would do. <laughs> All right, I think we'll do one more match. Alrighty, I think we'll make this the final match here up against a universe rep set up here. Alright, well this... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we already got the LF in this video, so I don't really feel the need to like try and aim for it in this one. Oh, casserole. Okay, uh, Jiren's back probably, right? Oh, actually, hold up. Let's hit him with this first. Draw a card. Yeah, that, that drawing a card effect is so strong. Yeah, this is way better. This is like, we're, we're doing all this through Jiren's cost increase. That's so, that's so stupid. I right, go to Casserole. He's back. What? What? He's back? He's dead? He lived. No! <laughs> 4,000 HP! Uh, should we just go to Argyron and transform? Yeah. Alright, we can counter anything you want to do to us. You want to blast, we can strike. You want to tackle or strike, we can go to the green. Really? I didn't think you can go back into them yet.
Let's do this and tackle. You can't strike because they're locked. Nice wait there. You can't rush though. Um, okay, we can connect this now. That's a pretty good play, considering you also have the character. <laughs> we got the legendary Rising Rush counter connect. That's a pretty tanky character. Do they have a green card? He doesn't, okay. I'm surprised he lived that. He's going right away. Not going right away. Is that two Rising Rush counters we got in this video? That's crazy. Our 17 still doesn't have his gauge built up yet. I feel like I've used 17 literally no times in this video. 17's literally done nothing. Alright, goodbye, Jiren. I'm gonna go into Goku. We can rush him if he does anything right away. Nothing. Okay, well, now he's still dead. Alright, Goku, you can kill Casserole. Is he dead? Yeah. No Justice Bomber for you. Uh, there's a world where I probably should have just clicked the rush there, because the odds of him doing an action were really high. He has no vanish now, so... Yeah, that's game. We can't, we can't actually get the LF. I wasn't trying to get it here, but yeah, we can get it. Uh, pretty dumb. I, I, I really think this character is, like, on a completely different level now that they got this buff. Like, it's not some uh, nothing buff. Like, this is a big boy buff they got. <laughs> this is... I don't want to say it feels like almost as as effective as a Zenkai Awakening, but you can't compare the buff that this character got to like a unique equipment. This character basically just got like one and a half times better <laughs> from this buff. Like it's it's pretty dumb. I, I want to put this the effectiveness, the um. Oh, wait, finish, wait, don't speak. The effective, the, the total effectiveness of this buff feels somewhere in between unique equipment level and Zenkai level. Like it's in between those two things. And I think it's probably leaning more towards Zenkai level than equipment level, but yeah, this is crazy. This unit um, is gonna see a lot more play now that they have gotten this buff. Let me know down below what you guys think of this character now that they've gotten their ridiculous uh, upgrade here. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.